Tonight is February the 4th, 2015. Uh, what I want to show you tonight is something I hope that'll help the uh, HP calculator users out there. This has nothing to do with audio or RF equipment, but uh, you can see I'm an HP fan. This is a 12C, a 15C. That's, that's, the, that's the best one I think they've ever made. Others may dispute that, but nevertheless, that's not what it's about. What it's about is um, this is a 16C. It's a very, it, it's a rather odd one, but that's got nothing to do with it. I uh, gave it to my son some years ago as he was finishing college, and uh, fortunately, he finished with a degree in computer science. Again, neither here nor there. But the point is, is he brought it back to me today, and it did not work. So I put new batteries in it. Three brand new number. Uh, 357s I believe it is it came up with uh, all A's I took the batteries out I put it back in it came up with some kind of ERR condition error condition third time I don't remember and I said you know I remember now that <clears throat> I read this somewhere I don't know if it was online or in an HP book I think it was an HP book they told you to take a coin or whatever and short this terminal the springy terminal which is the negative, no, actually the positive, I think, it doesn't matter, down here to this other little terminal. Short the two together. So you can take a coin and stick it in there and short those terminals together. There, that's actually working. That's a, a dime. And somehow that drains some charge that's on this thing. It works. It's worked more than one time for me. It's worked on my 15 C's, these guys right here. I love these things. I've had these things since... 1986 or so when they first came out anyway you, for reasons I can't explain if you short the two terminals out just for a few seconds and then reinstall the batteries hopefully it'll work <laughs> it did fix it <clears throat> let's see now if I can fumble this thing into place there we go put the cover back on and PR error. Okay, gave me a PR error that time, but let's clear it. There, it worked. I got an error when it came up, but I was able to clear it. The other ones I could not clear. I'm telling you, I've, I've experienced this several times. So if you find these things, if you have one of these things, if you find them at garage sales, estate sales, and you put new batteries in them and they don't work, then take the batteries out and short the two terminals together just for a few seconds put the batteries back in clear it out and uh, I bet you it'll work I'm only telling you this because I want to save these things these things are worth having they're actually worth some money on eBay too so there you go hope this helps you save your old HP RPN reverse Polish notation calculator for years to come <laughs>